Okay, in this final video, um, I've deleted all the subtitles we don't need printing. These are the only ones that we need producing as an STL file. Um, I haven't merged them yet. I've just got through the process of decimation. So in the plugin, decimation master, and pre-process current. We will be doing them all eventually, but I just want to show you this process. ZBrush now analyzes the mesh and goes through lots of processes. I will shorten this sequence because it can take time on a higher, higher poly, count, poly count mesh. Right. This basic one's been pre processed, but if you go to your plugin and set the amount of decimation you want, I know by experience we can average around 20 percent and still retain all the detail and if I press decimate all it will tell us that we didn't pre-process the rest of the subtools it's an automated thing we can just click that it's a very unforgiving in very forgiving process if you do miss a stage it will remind you to do it so we're going through the rest of the tools now it does them subtool by subtool Right, and when you're ready, we decimate all. This is a fairly quick process because it's got all the information written to disk already. And it's stepping down through the subtools one at a time, decimating them. And there it is, and we can tell it's been decimated. by showing the, the polyframe, which is, the now the mesh is composed, each of the subtools is composed of thousands and thousands of triangles. I'll just highlight that better, we'll pick the main body. And it's still retaining all of that lovely detail we had. You can retain the color information, but I've yet to find a, a 3D color printer that does a really good job. We're gonna merge all of these visible subtools so this is our merged version. Just a double check to check it's all there. In the plugin, we then find our 3D print exporter. A few options in here, it's quite simple this. Um, I'm just going to throw it to the largest size. You've got an update size ratio. We're producing an STL file. Um, if you need an exact size, you can update one of the parameters the XYZ axis but we're just going to throw it to the largest available in ZBrush in inches. Click STL and this is the file that you save and you send to the 3D printer for quotes and this is the one that's going to be processed and cut into smaller pieces and carved into a 40 foot polystyrene troll. Um, that's six or seven months in the future. I'd love to do an update to this tutorial, at the very least post some images of the troll in situ on the Digital Tutors website. I hope that's possible. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and got something from it. I've enjoyed putting this one together. And I think we've got a fairly decent troll at the end of it. Thank you for watching.